Hi, my name is Renata and welcome to my channel. As the Halloween is coming closer, I have prepared a really magical page, which can perhaps fit this spooky holiday mood. This page I will create on the Art by Marlene perfect size journal page. And I will start with some stamping. The stamp set which I have chosen to work with is called Magical Potion and it comes from the Art by Marlene latest release. This time I was going for a very flat layout without doing any fussy cutting. So I will be stamping directly on my page and doing a lot of masking. But in a minute you will see what I mean exactly. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable with this method, you can always stamp your little bottles separately, fussy cut them and then build out your layout. For stamping I will use a VersaFine ink in onyx black color, but uh, also I will use Studio Light Stamp Press. As you will see, every time I will stamp a little bottle, in my case potion bottle, directly on my page, one time, and then second time on a piece of uh, masking tape. This is something that I will repeat for each of my stamped elements. This was important for me for building the layout, because I wanted some bottles to be in front while others in behind, but also later on it will help me with coloring my background. If you wish to build up the layout in this manner, you have to think a little bit in advance and plant which of your elements you want in front and which ones in behind. The elements which you want in front you stamp first, then mask them and then slowly build up the elements which go behind. Now, of course, to fit a little bit of a Halloween mood I wanted to add a little pumpkin. Sadly, Marlene doesn't have a pumpkin stamp. But hey, I hope that's something she will work on. But until then I decided to draw my own pumpkin. And if you look at it, it's not even that hard. A bit later I will show you a little tip on how to uh, draw your pumpkin. But now, something really uh, good. As you can see, the masking tape was uh, transparent, semi-transparent. So it really helped me draw the outline of my pumpkin so I could mask it properly. Now, I wanted each of my bottles to be a little bit different, so that required for me to modify some stamps. As you will see, the next bottle which I will stamp is uh, obviously a perfume bottle, but I needed to alter it into a potion bottle. And this can be a little bit tricky to mask using a masking tape, so instead I took a Pigma Micron brush pen in black color and I am coloring only the parts of the stamp that I want to be stamped. I am doing this slowly, coloring a bit by bit a portion of the stamp, until I get the complete image that I want. Originally I tried this using a acrylic marker, but it didn't work out because I think the acrylic paints just dry too fast in a, when it is a, in a marker form. But uh, this uh, uh, Pigma Micron pen worked just perfectly. And now I will do the again the uh, same process for another bottle. This time I didn't want my bottle to have the top or to have the inner glass uh, decoration. Oh, and now let me show you a little tip. If you go to Pinterest and type in simply how to draw a pumpkin, you can get some really easy step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do it how to draw it in a simple way. 
Here you can see you have even a really big choice of uh, little uh, drone tutorials on how to do it. So if you're not really feeling confident with your drawing skill, just try this and it's actually more simple than you would imagine. But also another thing that you could look up is uh, Halloween color combinations. Sometimes to me it happens that I can't think of a color combo or I want to try another one. And I think Pinterest is really a good source of uh, something like that and ideas and inspiration. As you can see here, there are a lot of uh, autumn color combinations, but you can also find some really beautiful ones for Halloween too. In this project, I won't use any of the suggested color combinations, but I sure did get inspired to make some new pages. Anyway, time to build up my background. This time for coloring, I decided to use inks, in particular Lavinia elements. For applying the ink, I'm using uh, Studio Light ink blending brushes. And here you can see why the masking tape comes handy, even though I struggle with that tiny piece there, always moving. But still it really helped as I didn't need to worry about crossing the lines or be too precise with coloring. Now, what I would like to tell when you are creating backgrounds is mainly to be patient. Don't go too heavy-handed with your ink, because it will leave uh, some kind of marks that you might not wish for your background. Slowly layer the colors, apply layers, bit by bit, patiently, and it will pay off, even though it takes quite some time. It might be a bit confusing when you look uh, how I am doing it, but this is actually double the speed that I was doing it in reality. And here too, you can see I was mixing three uh, colors of blue, starting first with the brightest one. But here you can see that I actually also lost my patience a bit and it left that kind of half moon pattern there above my paper. But if something like this does happen to you, you can either try to uh, layer more color on it, to add some stencil pattern, or if it's water reactive ink, even to lift some ink, and that's something that I will do later on. Anyway, as you can see, I am switching between the colors, trying slowly to blend them. And here I will even add a little bit of purple, because I think the combination of blue and purple is something that has to go for a magical themed page. Anyway, m the point of this is that if you are coloring your page with ink, it's all about layering, layering, and then some more layering. And with that kind of patience, I promise you, you will be happy with your results at the end. The last color that I will add to my page is called Midnight Blue. It's a kind of a black color and I will put it only towards the edges of my paper, which will in a way frame my page. Now, elements are water reactive dye inks, so of course I will use some clear water for the ink lifting technique which creates some really fun effect, which I thought it could be really good for this magical page. Now, what you can do is leave your water splatters as they are, or color them like I did here. Most of them I turned a little bit of yellowish, because I thought it would look good on this background. Now, after the most satisfying part, removing the masking tape, 
I will go a bit over my stamped lines using Pigma Micron pen in black color. Most importantly over the pumpkin which I drew only with a simple pencil. But also to fix some edges where I have maybe misplaced my masking tape. For coloring my stamped images I will use Prisma Micron colored pencils. Here I will just show you how I build up the colors going from darker colors toward brighter, blending them using a paper stamp and odorless mineral spirit, and then again layering some more using again darker shades to create more shadows. But I have uh, another video which shows coloring with colored pencils a bit more in detail. I will leave the link for it at the end of this video. But also soon I will post another video that I have been promising for a while now. Where I will give a lot of tips uh, for coloring using uh, various mediums. And so that you wouldn't miss that video because I promise you it's something really good with a lot of tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel! Anyway, now the main elements were colored, now I wanted to add some special effects. One of those will be stamping this magical swirl from the same stamp set that I used before called Magical Potion. I am stamping using Archival Ink. And to emphasize this beautiful swirl, I will use Prisma Premier colored pencil in white color, which kind of gives it a little bit of highlights. To further embellish my page, I will use Art by Marlene Special Effect Glamour Glitter in gold and diamond color. The one in gold I use mostly to decorate the closing part of my magical potion bottle while the diamond one I will use to embellish this magical swirl but also to decorate uh, those crystals and make them more crystal looking, more magical and more shiny. Now time for the sentiment. As some of you might know, I like uh, combining different types of uh, lettering, different types of typography. So for the word magic I used art by Marlene alphabet cutting dies, but the rest of the sentiment will come from the uh, same stamp set where the bottles come from. I will just mask the magic word using a masking tape because it was already there. I think it's useful sometimes if you have a lot of space left on your original page to put a really bold uh, and big sentiment or at least just to emphasize one word like I did in this case. Now I felt that the letters were a little bit melting into the background, so one way to make them more visible to emphasize them is to add highlights using a gel pen. And I really think it helps the letters pop up and be more easy to read. And that was the finishing touch for this page. I hope you enjoyed my creative process and that you liked finished result. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye!